The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest gay guy that all of us know and love, none other than Mr. J.P. I am fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. I think I like to think so. I think so too. <laughs> Good, uh, but also another excellent, funny stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. None other than Mr. Derek the Wreck Alder. And that's it. Yeah, that's um, about that's about how I feel. That's, that, that's, that's all you get. Oh, yeah, I am man, elated to be here today. I think yeah. we're gonna start calling you half a clap. Half that's a fine. clap. Yeah, half a clap. It's like fifty cent only with a clap. That was terrible. Okay, fine. You should you should not do that. Maybe it's not too it. it's not too late to start over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying we could nah. we could start over. Half a clap is in. like what you get when the condom breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. You get half yeah, the clap. That, that's and right. Even, it's like, <laughs> it's like a one it's yeah. like a one armed man trying to clap. Okay, <laughs> he just pounds on his chest, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, he has to. He has to. Uh, but anyways, we have an excellent episode for you guys here no, today. We, don't. we do. We actually do. I think this one's going to be a yeah, lot. Yeah, man, fun. I'm super stoked about it too, man. Yeah, so get be. on board. Yeah, you should be. No, no. Okay, fine. Uh, but we do. We've got a fun, a, a fun episode. That train went right out of the station. <laughs> store for you. Today. I didn't even buy a ticket. I know. I'm not even going to hop on there like okay. a hobo. I'm okay. not doing it. Uh, we, got some, uh, we got some current events to go over, overrated or underrated. What would you do? Some questions and preguntas. <clears throat> as always, a very fun-filled draft. And as always, a shitty situation. And if this is the very first time that you're listening to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and jokes about me. So uh, I'm okay with that, by the way. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend all kinds of people. So if that hurts your feelings or you're one of those, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. But please write us and tell us why we offended you oh, so the we can make sure we do help it more. the algorithm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, or you uh, can just text Scotty and let yeah. him know. No, don't do that. Hey, stop it. I'll fucking kill both of you. Okay. That was a threat. And it's that on it's threat. on camera. Oh my god. Yeah. I I'm, hope I don't end up dead tonight. Yeah. Hey Siri, call the police. <laughs> call the police immediately. Wow. Uh but no. Uh, and it, Siri she, will not even listen to Siri's me. Like, Siri's like, like die, that. bitch. <laughs> you deserve it. She's like, do you mean play? I'll be missing you by the police. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll be watching you. Yeah, or YMC. Yeah, I'll be missing you as P did. Okay. Uh, but anyways, before we, get, before we get on to the fun parts of this episode, we're going to tell, uh, tell everybody what's going on with us over the last week. Uh, both of uh, you guys were not here, but uh, we're going to always start with JP because he has the most fun-filled adventures over his weekend. Right. I always have so much to yeah. talk about. Oh, for sure. Um, I actually do have some shit to talk about again this no week. Kidding. So that's cool, man. All it's like right. two two times in a row that I've been on. I actually have some shit to talk about. Buckle the fuck uh, up, Derek. I know. <laughs> shit is changing around here, boys. Uh, so uh, I had a pretty good week. Lots of bowling. Okay. Lots of weed. Yeah. Got a lot. I mean, the, they go hand in hand. I was going to say, you and you need to stop talking about bowling and weed, and I need to stop talking about golf. And snowboarding. And snowboarding. And anything else. <laughs> did you go check um, out some mimes? I did not check out mimes this week. That uh, was, no. Nope. Damn. But, uh, I thought you took part in Mime Monday. <laughs> no, nope, I was not part of that. Uh. Uh, after what happened last week, after what happened a couple weeks ago, man, I had to opt out. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, oh, shit. Big Mime Town, which is. Big Mime Town. Lots of mimes. Mimes everywhere. Yeah. You. Mime capital of the Midwest, which is. Yeah, absolutely it, it is. It's on our There's, border. You can't even find white face paint. 
no. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. No. I mean, this you is have the to only, special order it. This is actually the only town in the country that it's okay for black people to do white face. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is. I saw I saw a couple of them today at the Quick Trip. Yep. Mm-hmm. They were stuck in a box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I damned if I could find the box, but yeah. they looked apparently Other stuck. Other cities have homeless people out on every corner. We and don't. We have mines. We have, we have mines. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're home. To be fair, they're homeless people. We just paint. We just put white face <laughs> on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We that one poor them. guy could never yeah. get up the ladder. I felt bad. For There's him. no homeless people here, just mimes. Move, move to Wichita. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our homeless population under yeah. control. You get like if every. Why is that mime throwing shit at me? <laughs> every every homeless mine already lives in his own box. That's right. That's so, right. It's, yeah, it's invisible. It's a bill, yeah. Right. Yeah. They're fucking. They're good to go, it's man. Like, how are you getting rained on? You're in a box. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, shit is real out here. In I don't even want to do the rest of the show. Let's yeah. just keep going with this so, shit. So uh, Friday, you ever played tug of war with a mine? <laughs> they win <laughs> they every, every time. time. No, it's Dude. a stalemate. Oh. Yeah, he just sits there. And you tugs. just keep. I mean, it's like the rope is so matter. elastic. It just <laughs> yeah. keeps. doesn't matter how hard you pull on it. It mm-hmm. just it just doesn't fucking come. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Amen. That's what she said. Mm. Uh, how, well, okay, actually, what did you do over your week? So JP? Friday. Something really cool happened. I was in a really shit mood, pulled up to work, and uh, called in to make my car payment. And when she asked me how much I wanted to pay, I told her the same amount I normally pay. And she came back on the phone and said that I only owed $135 and the car would be paid off. And I was like, oh. Can I put I that like, on a 12 month payment plan? I go, I go, I, yeah. So, turns, <laughs> thankfully, and it's only going to cost me $400 in interest. So, it's worth it. No. Yeah. So, I paid my fucking car off. I had no idea. Woo! And uh, so, yeah, man, there's some uh, yeah. fucking hookers and blow for everybody. That's exactly uh, right. For first month, after the end of the month, you know. JP I'll has an additional you guys $5, up. you know, less. You, you pay with five, $5 more is what you're planning on paying. For. Right. So she gave you, you know, 135 Absolutely. Yeah, she killed it. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, so more bowling balls in my future, too, I'm sure. Nice. Um, other than that, man, uh yeah. No, you had something earlier. You started to talk about it, and I can't remember what the oh, fuck it was. I, we were talking about how yes. now that I got my car paid off, yeah. I'm, I should probably fix the fucking driver's side window because it doesn't roll down. Yeah. And my heater and air conditioner, like, they come on when they want to come on, and then they don't come on when they don't want to come on. So I should probably spend that money and get the car fucking sure back in shape is and it we were one talking of those about, where like the heater works in the summer and the air no, works in the winter no like, no <laughs> thankfully thankfully it works it's yeah i can move it change it back and okay. forth still that, and it still works in that regard but that would be about the fucking my luck that's how you know your car is actually a transformer and it fucking hates your guts and here's the thing man i wish my car was a transformer <laughs> no because it so hates dope. you i don't care if my car is just trans Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. That's it. My car identifies as a bus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> bait bus. <laughs> nice. Yeah, bang bus. Bang bus, yeah, bait bus. I know what you meant. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, bait bus, I think, is gay. From, oh. From gays. Okay, I wouldn't yeah. know. Well, <laughs> wouldn't you, though? Because I think I've seen you on an episode. No, I'm pretty, not, uh, I'm pretty sure not. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to go back and research it. But yeah, man, um, that's it. That's it? Okay. I think so. I think well, so. While we're while we're what talking about cars, vroom 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 vroom, uh, a lot of people know what I actually do for a living, and I have a story from today. Actually, Scotty's actually a mime. I'm a mime. Yeah, he's, a mime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's got into it recently. He's just turned pro. <laughs> he's on the circuit. No white paint yet, though. That's when that's when you become pro. Well. Is when you get white paint. Or when you get pale like me, you don't need the paint. <laughs> that's right. true. <laughs> yeah, and I just look sad all the time. Yeah, so that's true. You're, you're, you, you, you. <laughs> I have resting, depressed face. <laughs> like every time you see me, you think I want to kill myself. Dude, when and you, you're right. When you walked in tonight, I was like, are you feeling all right, man? Because you look really upset. Yeah. Like, He's got to do this show. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Having a fantastic day. I just want to die. So. That's all. Yeah. Oh, God. That's cool. So no, no same, yeah. same as any other day. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, but no, uh, my actual occupation, I have to help people with their vehicles. And so I had one brought in today that, that rivals some of the nastiest, most disgusting vehicles I've ever seen in my entire life. Nice. Uh, you open the door and just wafts of body odor, cat piss, and old people just come shooting out of that car. 
Uh, it makes me wonder if, if people just have deadened nerves on the end of their nostrils after just smelling it for so long that Probably. they can't. Um, and I would think that that is a real thing. However, when this person got out of their vehicle, I shit you not, there is a shit stain down the middle where her ass crack, her ass crack would be down the middle of the driver's front seat, brown as can be. It is no secret of what that is by the disgustingness oh, of this individual. No. To make it even better, even oh. better, this is an employee's girlfriend's car. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ew. Do yeah. I know the employee? Oh, yeah. Huh? Do I know the employee? No. Damn. No. They may die before this episode airs. Wow. But, oh, dude, it was so bad. And, and I am shocked. I'm shocked. I'm really fucking shocked. But apparently, it's the very first time I've had to deal with these particular people. <clears throat> and apparently, I was the first to find out, or the last to find out, rather, that uh, these people are known as the stinky people where I work. Dude, so that's crazy. It's absolutely dis disgusting. So all of you service writers out there, I have a story. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on to another fun part of my week, which I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about it if uh, Derek goes into his. Um, I, I mean, got to I see have shit stains in my car, but it's not because I'm dirty. I know. It's because you're fucking in right. it. Right. I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, Just wanted to clear that up. I got you. Uh, but no, I got to see. Weirdly enough, they're in his glove box. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how they got there. <laughs> yeah. I, it's just, but that's yeah, that's, weird. that's the only place they are. They're like license and registration. I don't know if you want to see my registration. Yeah. You you're your, going to you're gonna have to take yeah. my word on that one. Yeah. 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 You and your boyfriend. You look it up on the computer. Right. <laughs> Trust me. No, you and your boyfriend drink coffee and try playing battle shits into the glove box. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah. That was bad news. Yeah, it was. Oh, man. Uh, but no, I got to see one of my favorite pitchers uh, who pitches for the St. Louis Cardinals, Adam Wainwright. He actually ended Boo. up. I know. Cubs fans okay whatever you can't that's right you can't, that's coming from him you can't knock greatness guys um, oh yeah he's great dude I, I, that's why he's pitching in wichita kansas well the reason why is because he's in rehab he's rehab. coming up yeah he'll be blah in, blah blah he's in the he'll be in the majors coming up in uh, sometime soon especially how shitty the cardinals are doing um, so that was pretty cool. I got to see Uncle Charlie. His his twelve six curveball is one of the best. Uncle uh, Charlie, I thought you said you saw Adam Wainwright. Adam Wainwright throws a throws basically a twelve six curveball that we call Uncle Charlie. That's what it's called. What is it? Vietnamese? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, everybody tries to get him, but can't. They can't find him. Um, but yeah, it's in the, the trees. <clears throat> it is. But I'm glad. It's always in the trees. <laughs> I am so glad I am doing this week's episode with you two people in particular. You want to know why? Because we're not mimes. No. Because. Because we're the fucking coolest people that come on here. This is probably true. However, I... Because uh, JP has shit stains on his sun visors? Well, no. Glove that, box. Uh, no. Uh, we all have seen probably one of the greatest TV shows ever made from beginning to end now on this episode. So, spoiler alert. Jury duty is fucking oh, awesome. It's phenomenal. Oh, it yeah. is yeah. fucking awesome. It's awesome. I we, can't believe they gave him the money at the end. That's dope. I bet you it was actually like 50 grand and because he was such a oh by the way spoiler alerts for all of you guys who haven't seen yeah. it yet you're getting ready to get fucked so fast forward for like five minutes but I bet you it was like 50 grand and they were like this dude was such a great sport and such an amazing <laughs> he was human such an being. dude right and you're just like I uh, no, we're like, doubling yeah, it for this month cool. <laughs> yeah I loved it and I loved it and so now I guess they recorded this like in the midst of COVID this was actually like 2020 2021 so here's the, thing. the only thing that I prayed on is that they shot five or six of them and this is just the first one they're putting out I hope it's not what it's not this the, is this is the only one no, man. Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry. It doesn't even have to be a court case. It doesn't have to be this exact same premise. I want something else. Man. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I, I want some. Okay. I want them to have done three or four different things. Okay. I just want to know how they cast that guy. Like, did he have Craigslist, bro? He had yeah, Craigslist. Craigslist. Really? Craigslist. Yes. Oh. But I don't know what the story is behind the, the whole story. Craigslist. The story is they put a fucking Craigslist out ad out and said they wanted somebody to volunteer for jury duty and they were going to record it and they wanted to volu the, the volunteer to share their experience so people knew what to expect when they went to jury duty oh no shit yeah oh, oh, i okay. thought they were just selected no so then they randomly he applied for it and they went i'm sure they interviewed, interviewed probably tons people. of people yeah, okay sure, that would make sense probably yeah. not tons of people most wouldn't volunteer for jury well, duty but that was the you best might part. Be surprised, bro. <laughs> you might be surprised, dude. And he was awesome. Oh, he the was great. Show. He, he was, was great. great. And apparently, this was like two years ago when they filmed this. So it was in the midst of COVID. 
And so it's been, it's apparently been being put together for two years to finally put it out. And now it's such a huge hit and everybody loves this dude. And I hope, I hope that he becomes like super famous, but the coolest part is now you've got all these characters that are doing interviews with him now that it's out on TV and it's fucking great. I can't James Marston. Isn't yeah. that his name? Yeah. Uh, now has a couple of interviews with... Uh, his, his name's Ronald, the main character that yeah. doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Has interviews now with him on talk shows, and it's fucking great. That's cool. The whole Sonic thing of of him saying, yeah, I thought those were Sonic socks. I, I, I was in Sonic. And he goes... Oh, I never saw it. I heard it was a shitty yeah, movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was he's a like, really hey, shitty man, movie. I went back and watched it. It was great. It was great. It was, it was yeah, great. he's like, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. But did you rent it or did you buy it? Oh, I rented it. No, God rented, damn it! God if you bought, it. if you bought yeah. it, I got a dollar. And then he, he brings in that one movie. He's like, see, man, I do own this one. You know, he's sex like, drive, yeah, yeah, sex, sex drive. drive. Yeah. But anyways, it's an excellent show. I hope anybody that hasn't seen it, go and watch it. It's way fucking worth it. But yeah, that was my week. So uh, Derek, you had a very fun-filled week. I only can imagine. Yeah, it was all right. I'm sure. I uh, <clears throat> I went to watch the WWE draft um, <laughs> in Kansas City this weekend for football. Yes, for football. Yeah, it's pretty like it's like the XFL. Yeah. Uh, I went. I went to that. Uh, it was interesting, uh, it, and people are like, uh, have asked me. They're like, "Well, if you think this is all bullshit, why'd you go to the draft?" Uh, my best friend from Chicago actually, and, and I had had plans for probably six months to to meet up. Don't look now, but JP's taking his clothes off. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so we had six months to uh, probably that we'd planned in advance to meet up. Mm-hmm. So I want to hang out with my best friend. I only get to see him like once a year. Yeah. Uh, so we went up for that, and uh, it was all right. Like the first day. Uh, we were there right as it opened, and it was weird because you had to download the One Pass app to get in. One Pass. It's a NFL app. Oh, to, okay. So One you, Pass to rule them all. Yeah, that's right. Well, I thought they were going to scan you as you went in. They just were like, "Nah, just go." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> that's fine." Well, and why so, the fuck did you make me download this goddamn app? Right. So then I walked through the metal detectors, and I had my phone, my watch, everything in my pockets. Mm-hmm. Nothing went off. <laughs> And I was like, son of that a bitch. That makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like the guy that's standing outside of a city hall, and he's got a lint roller, and people are just standing there like yeah. this. I was like, what in the fuck is this? <laughs> so we get in, and it was like they had a bunch of stuff. The communication was terrible. Uh, I did get to meet a couple of players. Uh, I met Jackson Smith Najigba from Ohio State, <clears throat> who got drafted to the Seahawks at 20. And then I met uh, Amon Ra St. Brown. Such a stud. And uh, that was a disaster. Oh. Uh, just the, the lines. Like, they nobody knew what line it was in. It wasn't like Union Station people that were working the draft. It's like people that work every NFL draft, travel with the draft. Oh, sure. So they're like, well, who are you in line for? And the line, I guess Justin Reed is a guy for the Chiefs. The line was like, me and my buddy walked by, and I was like, what is this line for? It's <laughs> fucking huge. And he goes, Stupid Chiefs. Justin Reed. And I'm like, who oh, okay. Fuck is Justin and Reed? I was like, oh, fuck Justin yeah. Reed. <laughs> and so uh, they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I'm not in that line. So I was like, Jesus, if the line's that long, we're going to have to get here like an hour early for Amon Ra. <clears throat> and then my buddy Chooch that I ran into, he was there, and he, calls me, at, he calls me at like 3.30, and he's like, where are you at? And I'm like, oh, we're just standing in line for this Crown Royal thing. And he goes... Well, I'm already in line for Amon Ra. I'm like, that's at 6.30. That's three hours from now. He's like, yeah, the line for Reed's already been cut off, and McDuffie is next, and then after that's Amon Ra. So I'm trying to get to the front for McDuffie, and then I'll just let people go if I end up getting to the front before he's done. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I guess I'll come hang. So we were those assholes that, like, cut in line. Like, hey, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> they were holding our place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we were those dicks. Yeah. And we're staying in that line for about two hours. And then when McDuffie, like, five minutes after that McDuffie guy is supposed to be there, they come out and are like, McDuffie's sick. He's not going to be here. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, these motherfuckers have been waiting in line for, like, two hours. So... They like a few of them leave. We move up, and then I'm looking down like by where the stanchion starts over on the sidewalk, and there's a line there. And we're like, I'm like, fuck it, let's just go down there. And so we go down there, and they're like, who are you waiting for? And we're like, Amon Ra, and they're like, well, he's not here till five thirty. I'm like, I know, or six thirty. We're like, we know, we've already been in line for two hours. It's fine. So 
Then like five minutes later, like, who are you waiting for? And we're like, Amon Ra. And they're like, the line for Amon Ra is up on the hill. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I just left the hill because people were lining up down here. So I go back up on the hill and I oh, call my Jesus. buddy. He stayed down there and he's like, yeah, they're, they're all lining back up again for Amon Ra. I'm like, fuck. So I went back down and then Chooch, is come, Chooch comes walking up back and he goes, hey, I told the guy behind me, like, I asked if it was cool and he was fine with it, but why don't you come up where I'm at? Because he ended up moving up when everybody else left. Uh-huh. He didn't leave. So he just moved up, and he was like 15th in line. <laughs> oh, my God. So I was like, all right, well, that's cool. So we met Amon Ross St. Brown. The weirdest thing was is uh, what they ended up doing with, since McDuffie had canceled, they brought in Tory Smith, okay. who used to be a wide receiver for the Ravens. Yeah. The shit people were having Tory Smith sign. Like some kid walks up in a Patrick Mahomes jersey and wants his Mahomes jersey signed by Tory Smith. And no. Tory Smith's like, Are you sure, dude? And he's like, Yeah. And I'm like right up front. I can see all I can see his face every time. It's glorious. <laughs> and, glorious. and this other guy comes in, he's got a Packers Jair Alexander jersey on. Will you sign my Packers jersey? He's like, I never played for the Packers. I don't care, man. So he signs it. One dude, no shit. Shows up in a Dennis Rodman jersey, <laughs> takes his Dennis Rodman jersey off. It's a Mitchell and Ness three hundred dollar fucking jersey. Uh. Hands it to Tori. Finally, Tori was like, "I'm not signing that, bro." <laughs> and he ends up signing like a postcard for him and hands him a postcard. Uh. But I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Uh, That's crazy. People have asked me what I think of it uh, since I went to the draft. Do I still? Am I still like <laughs> think it's full of shit? Still a douchebag. And uh, I said, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it very remi it reminded me a lot of WWE. Everybody was dressed up as their favorite <laughs> character. Uh, Roger Goodell did a very, very Vince McMahon thing. When he would <laughs> come out to the podium and they all boo. And he's like, yeah, keep it going. Oh, God damn I was it. like, God, I saw this on an episode of Raw or 50. So, <laughs> yeah, awesome. it still totally reminded still, me of yeah. all of that. So. Uh, we did uh, some of the challenges. I did the Hail Mary challenge, and uh, I did not do well, but I think I'm more of a mobile quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. So, yeah, you are. Yeah. If it's downhill and you can roll. Right. So, yeah, I'm a mobile quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Scotty, I would smoke you in a foot race. I would. <laughs> so, Let's uh, fucking go. I'll do it now. So I'm, to. I'm on. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That was my weekend. I got to call the Adam Wainwright game on Tuesday. That was cool. Uh, I got in a little bit of shit on Sunday. Uh, I didn't think they would notice, but there's a guy that plays for the Springfield Cardinals named Nick Dunn. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick Dunn has a nine-foot neck. <laughs> uh, it is fucking insane. His headshot is all neck. And uh, so, like, I decided, fuck it. Uh, his third at bat, I was like, now batting, you the designated the hitter. You called him the neck. No way. <laughs> no, now batting, what? designated hitter, number five, neck done. <laughs> and they go. <laughs> <laughs> Three people up in my booth go, you did not just say neck. And I was like, fuck, I didn't think it would be that noticeable. <laughs> So, yeah, I fucking totally said neck on purpose. <laughs> you fuck should do shit like that. It was hilarious. It's the other team. No, yeah. That's what we, you should be doing. We, we had actually a pretty good idea. I don't know if we should tell them about last night or not. Oh, when I told you how I want to play the walk-up music for our players? Yeah, that I and a couple of other things. Yeah, and just nick random nicknames. Yeah, I think that would yeah, be great. for sure. Yeah, yeah. it's minor league baseball. Yeah. You know. I think it would be hilarious. Uh, anything else at all? Uh, no, uh, no mime stuff. No. No. They're everywhere. It's kind of everyday thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got a break from You're not it. supposed to give them money. You're not? Mm -mm. No. Oh, no. Fuck. You're supposed to tell the police that they're there, and then the police come give them a card and tell them where they can stay. Oh. You're supposed to give them fake money. You're fake like, monopoly <laughs> money. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then they pretend to go to the liquor store and buy a fifth. Yeah. <laughs> they dump it out before they come back. Yeah. 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 Then they like need a place to stay, so they give you a pretend hand job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Anyways, all right. Well, I'm glad everybody had a great week. Uh, we've got a great show to get to. But before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to BattlecornCarePackages.com. Had a good conversation with a gentleman named Curtis, who's in charge of this uh, this nonprofit organization. It's a pretty not good a, deal. Not a mime, is he? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> they do have a gala that's coming up here in August. They're trying to. They have a goal of of hitting twenty five thousand dollars that they're going to donate to a charity, uh, and I believe it's all for. Uh, some form of pediatric cancer. They also just had a law that was passed in their area, um, uh, basically des- designated to his daughter who passed away from a form of pe- uh, pediatric cancer. So, uh, guys, if you can do us a favor, go to battlecorncarepackages.com. Anything at all that you can help out getting them to that goal. They have a, uh, it's called a, I believe a gala is what they have. It's kind of a ball thing that they try to put on every oh, year. We love a good gala. Yes, you do. <clears throat> but if you can do what you can, uh, excellent people, excellent we guy. Call them galas. Okay, I'm sure you do. Uh, but go and help them out any way you can at battlecorncarepackages.com and uh, go follow them on uh, all the social medias too. It's under the same thing. So we really do appreciate them. But as always, we want to give a shout out to manscaped.com. Yes, sir. They have some products to help you shave your nuts. Always a good idea. It is. It's 100% a great idea to keep your nuts clean. It's getting warm out there, right? It is. And nobody, not even guys, definitely not girls, don't want you to have just a really unkempt bush down there. Well, you might be surprised. Some guys are really? into that. Yeah. yeah, they call them bears, right? No. Oh, no. I don't know. Bush hogs. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's fair. Uh, if you like those guys, and don't get these products. But if you do like a uh, shave and scrote, uh, check out manscaped.com. They have something called a lawnmower 4.0. I prefer to get them before they can grow here. Okay. That's f- that's bad, dog. <laughs> that's Yikes. Not, that's not true. I know it's not true, oh, but still. Oh, my God. Uh, but anyways, they, they have a zero turn uh, or zero degree turn lawnmower 4.0. So that yeah. way you can get every zero angle you turn, want to. Baby. They and the Bushwhacker. All right. You know, that's, Luke. that's Bushwhacker. That is still in <clears throat> R&D, Derek. Um, but they do have other products to help you keep your downstairs groomed. That includes your uh, balls, your dick, and your asshole. Um, and uh, other stuff like your ears and your nose. they got the weed whacker out That's yep. your upstairs. That That's is your upstairs. Up, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have the ball toner. They do. Which I like to use a little on the cheeks. Do you use it on? tighten things up. Do which you, cheeks? Do you, do you, <laughs> <laughs> these, these right here. Okay. Because I'm sure both sets Those could are, use some tightening. No, no that, that back there stays ready. I'm Don't sure it does. A uh, little not, lemon juice. Puckers right back up. Do you actually apply it with your hands, or do you let somebody put it on their nuts? Right, and that? exactly. Okay. I kind of uh, do this number right here. Uh, but especially yeah. with the weather changing and it get nice and warm outside, they also have something called the ball deodorant to help your nuts not smell like fumunda. Uh, which is very, very smart, especially if you are being sexually active. But they have tons of other products. Or if you're sexually inactive, like myself. Yeah, then. you know, when you get home from work, you don't want to beat off a pair of nuts that uh, smell like shit. So Absolutely. go check them out. It's at like a built-in cum rag. You got all that fucking <laughs> hair on your <laughs> nice. nice. Anyways, go check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order. That gets you uh, the 10% off. Did I say 10? 20%. 20%. 20%. Yeah, 20% maybe. off. Fuck it, let's go for 30. Do I have 30? Uh, yeah, do, do, do I have 30? 40, yeah. No, 20% off. 45, and 50, 55, 50, 55, 50, 55, 50, 50, 60, 65, and sold. Free shipping. Uh, so check them out at manscaped.com. That helps you out, helps us out. And man, let's you would be a really good option no. here. <laughs> That we're doing these commercials word for word. So anyway, man with the clean balls. That's right. So <laughs> man with the clean balls. Derek's on the corner, right next to the mime, doing his fucking thing. You don't okay. auction off mine, Scotty. It's not eighty. The eighteen hundreds <laughs> anymore. Jesus, you can't do that. Uh, okay, fine. Even if you put them in white face first. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, we actually have current events to get to, and so we're going to move on to <laughs> Are any that. of them a mime sales? <laughs> no. oh, well, well, thank God. I'm sure there were mimes on this dude's show, but unfortunately, oh, yeah. the bad Springer news. passes away at 79 years old, and I have a question, genuinely, because a lot of us grew up, well, I think all of us actually grew up when, his, sure. when his show is actually pretty popular. Oh, it yeah. used to actually only air in, like, in where I grew up at. Uh, yeah, yeah, because, Illinois. yeah, yeah because that was where the studio was, wasn't it? It was in Chicago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. WGN, I think, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Yep. yep. So uh, did you guys actually watch the show? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All the way? Oh, yeah. I it was fucking great. Bit. Oh, it was amazing. I Love just got that. one thing to say. Come on, Dr. Phil. 
Oh yeah, you're next. Let's go. Okay, turn his show into Jerry <clears throat> Springer. No, no, kill him. Like, yeah, oh, just die. Okay, I don't know about that. Did you ever see the thing on Doctor Phil where that dude, dude that dude is fights? a douche? <laughs> what really? Doctor Phil? No, I don't ever what watch. What a any of that fucking show. tool. Did you ever see the thing on him from when the, he had the dude from Bum Fights on? I uh, know. There used to be this DVD series called. I know what it. I know. I've heard of bum fights. Yeah. So he had the creator of that on, and he was going to just rip this guy for exploiting these people. And that guy shows up. He had no idea he was going to do it. And the creator of Bum Fights had shaved his head just like Dr. Phil. <laughs> like where he's, got, <laughs> he's got the horseshoe. Like the bald top's bald. He has the fake mustache, the same suit, nice. everything, oh. just like Dr. Phil. <laughs> and he's been- He's like, I'm giving these guys in. Well, he's done. like, you're exploiting these people. He's like, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you have you. We're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's funny. I think that's actually pretty spot on. No, I, I don't think. Uh, I think maybe since I was maybe 13, I haven't watched anything on regular television from like 9 a.m. in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. I've never, and it's always those fucking. Like people's court shows, yeah. Jerry Springer was yeah. on Judge it. Judge Judy, Judge Judy, Judge Joe Brown, and just all of that. Judge shit. Million, because when you find she's what, the people's court one now. I oh really? Right. I don't know. Million. I yeah. don't fucking know. I don't I watch any so. of that shit. Back in my day, it was Wapner. Yeah, <laughs> if you know, you give me Wapner, or give me death. <laughs> God. Uh, but no, like five minutes to Wapner. <laughs> you find out all of those shows were shit. They were all bullshit. Oh, oh, even Springer. Uh, yeah, of course even they Springer are. was all bullshit. Well, of course it was. Yeah. So Springer was real, damn it. Yeah, just right. like the NFL. Just, uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Springer, is, Springer is as real as the NFL. That's you do have right. a point. Uh, but no, that's re- actually where Sean Alexander got his stuff. <laughs> it was yeah. Jerry Springer. Rest in peace, dog. You showed us a whole bunch of shit we didn't even know existed back in the day. So thank you for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have the first month of baseball in the books. Major League Baseball is through the first 30 days. And it says, what do you think? What do we think? What do you think, Jarek? It's very surprising this year. Yeah. The Pirates are leading the NL Central. Yeah. Uh, Tampa, again, with no payroll, still leads the AL East. Got a good Yankees, Yankees are in last. Yep. Cardinals are in last. Fuck you. Loving that one. Uh, Orioles are in second. Yep. And I think the Angels would make the playoffs right now. As of right now. Yeah. I don't think it's going to last. It's the first season. It's the first part of the season, man. Yeah. They got to get warm. Weather's going to start changing. They're going to get hot. Bats heat up about late mid May. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. After, was it after Memorial Day weekend? That's generally whenever they start to heat up a little bit. Uh, But until that point, pitchers are generally going to be ahead of uh, hitters. Yep. Except for if you are the pitching staff for the St. Louis fucking Cardinals. Jesus fucking Christ, we suck. We hey, suck. Wainwright look. Oh wait, never mind. No, he's still in the minors. Wayne. He also, he also got three runs against the Double A wins. That's true. That's true. He's still in rehab, man. Uh, but no, I, I. A lot of people have asked me. It's Drug like, okay, are, are you giving up hope on the Cardinals? Of course not. I'm still fucking pumped. I of love course him. not. He's fucking dumb. Exactly. <laughs> of course he's not <laughs> giving up idiot. on him. He's fucking not right in the head. I'm you a know fucking this. idiot. This is no secret. It isn't. It is not a secret. But and you you look at the lineup and you're like, Jesus Christ, these guys are full of nothing but talent, and they're all like vets. Every single one of them. Well, that's Either the problem. That, they're concentrating on animals. Yeah, yeah. I know. You can't do that. You got to. It's baseball. They got Baseball. Wolves in the outfield. God uh, damn it! Uh, but no, I, I'm I I so hope that they just make a run sometime this month because they look awful. So that's uh, that's what I think. Good for Contreras. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Uh, but anyways, I actually got sent this. This is actually something from our buddy down uh, from down under in uh, in Australia. He saw this. They got on, mimes in Australia. Uh, oh, definitely, dog. They got what? Mimes. Yeah, but they're yellow face. They're not. Yeah, they're white yellow. Face. Yeah, yeah, they're yellow face. <laughs> well, Instead of black, they have right. green. It's the Australian same thing, deal, I guess. Yeah, yeah same deal. Uh, but no, he's, and their mimes only talk. They, <laughs> they can talk. Yeah, they just you can't. And that's all they <laughs> yeah, say. That's, yeah, <laughs> they can talk. That's it. Mimes. I don't like their mimes. <laughs> Okay, fine. No. I like a good old fashioned mind. <laughs> okay, All give right. me white face. <laughs> or else I don't even want to. The way the good Lord intended. <laughs> That's right. Jesus Christ. He's white face mind. <laughs> oh That's right. My God. One face uh, to rule them all. 
yeah. So if this is the episode that cancels us, we had a good run, you know? Uh, but anyways, he sent me this, and I think this is kind of cool. Uh, but Daniel um, uh, Delaney from Australia, from Melbourne, uh, he says uh, that uh, there's a little league in New Jersey that has a rule, and that rule is if any parent argues with an umpire, he has to volunteer as an umpire for three games before allowed back as a spectator. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> fucking life. What? Why? Why, do you think Why the fuck would you want a Karen behind the plate? <laughs> Get the fuck out and stay out. You can't come back that's for a, any reason. I think that's that, the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. I think it keeps you from being an asshole, though. It I, does. Then all I of a sudden, I'm with, I think, I'm with you. <laughs> you're gonna call the game for your kid's team. Well, anyway, I, I think what they're it ends not up, by they're not par- partial for one. Well, it ends for up two. Being, they're cunts already. Yeah. And I don't want to hear what you have to say, Derek, so I'm just going to keep talking over you. No, I, go ahead, Derek. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. No, I th- I, me and you think the same. I, I, he it, likes the idea. I, I know, but, but you have but to. But he also thinks the NFL is rigged. Yeah, so. exactly. See, we're getting a, a constant yeah. thing here. Yeah. Uh, but no, no. constant. There, yeah. do, you, are, do you have a fucking brain tumor or something? Is there something going on? I fucking hope so. That I <laughs> hope so. Jesus that means I've only got a few more months to Oh, oh that's man. so terrible. I'll take, uh, but I'll, no. take, I'll, take uh, I'll move in whenever you die. No, man. it's just a deficiency of some kind. But anyways, like an extra extra chromosome but uh i think that this is very easy to take- explain why we get along that probably uh <laughs> but no i think this is way too easy to take advantage of and i think that if you are that except parent- when he tries to steal your cookies <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that i don't enough. matter how many chromosomes i got yeah. don't fucking touch <laughs> <Yeah>. my cookies <laughs> he's got that special strength you right. know yeah uh but no i think it's way too easy to take advantage jerk of off extra hard yeah uh I, it's way too easy to take advantage of I think that if you get a person who actually gets Dumb. cited like that, if they're like, no, if you want to be a douchebag, then you have to be a, or then you need to volunteer yeah, to be an umpire. And I'm like, stupid. fine, I'll do my it's job way better than you. Heard. Go out there and then just be a douchebag to the kids. And yeah. then you get to come back and then you get to do yeah, all over again. Right, Might yeah, as well volunteer. Stupid. Fuck Dumb. it. Kick them the fuck out and yeah, leave them the fuck out. That's exactly what would the need to happen. Yeah. I like it because it would almost be like whenever the parents have to bring treats after <laughs> like orange it's slices. Like, All right, well, the, today's Tommy's mom's turn to umpire. <laughs> and, and I think that's almost the equivalent of whenever you're at a comedy show and you get a heckler. Oh, yeah. And like, All right, well, you want to fucking come on stage and tell some jokes? Come on, come on up. Yeah. I think that I would love that. I, I'm sure. And then they would come up and they would tell better jokes than mine. <laughs> then I would feel stupid. They would be Eddie Murphy yeah, and the Nutty right, Professor with exactly. uh, Dave Chappelle on stage. Yeah, it would be bad. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I'm I not a fan of that rule, but uh, Derek, apparently, you know, you guys are on the wavelength. Is you guys practically a, look the same. Is so. that a new thing? What? When they hit a home run, they flashed all the lights in the whole stadium. Oh, yeah. They're doing all kinds of things. I didn't oh, yeah. see any They're that doing before. all kinds of things to, after they hit home runs. They're trying That's to make exciting. the game. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Oh. Did you see the bullshit thing they did with the pitch clock, though? Uh-uh. If you are expecting a standing ovation, you have to notify the umpiring crew within 24 hours. Otherwise, it's a pitch clock violation if they, yeah. It's, it's gotten to that. Because I, I forget who it was that, like, did a tip of the cap. And uh, he got a, or he got a standing O. It was a player that had returned from a city that he played in forever. They give him a standing O. And he gets a pitch clock violation because he didn't get to the plate, so he starts off 0-1. Rob Manfred, you're a hmm. fucking piece of shit. So that is the, now the rule. You have to, 24 hours. You have within it's fucking mm-hmm. ridiculous. I think uh, Tampa Bay is going to win it all. Okay. Uh, keep thinking that. Um, throwing that out there. Before we get to the NFL draft, because I think that's what the most important thing that happened Who cares? over the weekend. No, no, no. I think there is. Um, I mm. wanted to talk about this because this is actually a real thing that I think is absolutely hilarious. Uh, Antonio Brown tweets a picture of himself wearing a Baltimore Ravens uniform, uniform saying he's excited to return to the NFL this year. Hashtag Ravens flock. So he basically agreed to signing to the Baltimore Ravens for this next season. The it's- Baltimore Ravens, however, did not. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think and we've said it multiple times. When that guy dies, whether he blows his own fucking head off or however he decides to kill himself, there will be people wanting to look at that dude's brain to see how much CTE that fucking crazy man has. You guys sit there and give me shit, but you can't tell me that's not some WWE shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you cannot here's the fucking thing, man. tell me that is not. 
Dude, <laughs> the most WWE shit. He ever. makes a fucking valid point, bro. <laughs> he like, does. He's like got a, a point. A couple times now, he's had a point, and yeah. Vince wow. McMahon is pulling the strings for the NFL with this guy. Oh, I'm telling you, he is the script writer right now for Could Antonio be. Brown. Wait Could till be. the merger. That's all I'm saying. The <laughs> That's NFL, all I'm saying. XFL Wait for the XFL merger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we get to get to the draft. Uh, I know, Derek, you're not into it as much anymore, but I think we both can agree that as out of all the teams who had excellent draft classes, the Chicago Bears were picked probably as one of the best. Yeah, I think they were like top five. Or top something. five, mm -hmm. and uh, I know it doesn't matter because you think it's rigged, but I, I in the North, do they have a chance against the the Lions? Yeah, that division's wide open. You're supposed to say no comment. No comment. Yeah, the division's exactly. Wide open. No, I I but. still I now granted I'm biased. I'm repping my Lions, but I. A lot of people came to me and Your asked me. Lions for I am. like a year. Uh, this will be this will be year two. Oh, yeah, you're a uh, super fan. But but the whole thing with uh, uh, Smith or uh, Swift, they traded Swift to the Philadelphia Eagles. Who let me tell you, uh, Swift grew up in Philadelphia, so he belongs there. I think that's a good place for him. And not only that, the offense, the way they run it, it's fucking prime for that dude. He's gonna have a great fucking season all next year the eagles are fucking dangerous and uh they drafted pretty much like all defensive players for the the uh georgia bulldogs or the vice mm -hmm. versa and the uh, they have the majority of that defense yeah whatever and then the other side of the ball is alabama so they're gonna be good it's just uh that simple uh but i was really i liked what uh, Detroit did. I think they they have an excellent draft class, and it's going to be very underrated. And uh, they may not only make the playoffs; they may be a contender for the NFC Championship. I'm calling it right now. So, and especially if it's scripted, everybody really is rooting for the Lions right now. I'm just saying that means that they're not going to win it. Ah, oh, right. Damn. You got to. Yeah. Damn it. You obviously haven't read the script. Right. Uh, but uh, we also got to stop making fun of Kyler Murray for being so short. Okay. Yeah. Bryce Young, who is the first overall pick in the NFL draft, is 5'10 as well. So mm -hmm. no more short jokes for Kyler Murray. Or you could just kind of put him in the same joke and make it work. Uh, but my favorite part out of all of this uh, was C.J. Stroud. Love his chicken. Oh, C.J. Stroud? Yeah. Why? you never been to Stroud's? It's delicious. Oh, yeah, it is it good. good. It is good. Mm -hmm. um, the man knows his way around a chicken. Yeah. Uh, apparently this kid, all their sides are home style. That's yeah, that's true too. Mm -hmm. He I actually, love that. he actually had to take a, uh, a cognitive test, <laughs> which just means you'll need an extra one for the table because you're taking the, the home, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. I'll give yeah. me a, that's my plate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, he had to take a cognitive test, right? And he failed so poorly. He got an 18% and then claimed he's still going to be one of the smartest quarterbacks out on the field. Uh, no. So yeah. I play not, football. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's not that dumb, but he. Whew. I play football. Eighteen percent is pretty low, dog. So uh, good luck to you, uh, Houston Texans. Hope he does great for you. But that kind of worries the fuck out of me. Uh, but last but not least, we'll end on a happy note. I thought it was really cool. I cannot stand the Dallas Cowboys any further than I can pick up their fat fucking fans and throw them. However, what they did um, for Chris Vaughn was fucking awesome. Uh, dad is a scout for the Dallas Cowboys and, uh, they ended up picking his son and let his dad make the phone call. And it was so cool because he called him and said, Hey, you want to go to work with me next week? And it was, it was pretty fucking neat. So oh, hats, hats off. That's to, so cool. Hats off to Jerry and the Cowboys for yeah. that one. I still hope you guys wow. get your ass kicked. And he's and, probably like, fuck no, the season doesn't start for like yeah, six right. months. <laughs> I'll be there in six months. Uh, but yeah, Chris Vaughn is the dad and uh, Deuce Vaughn is actually running back out of K-State. So good, yeah. good for him. Uh, and I uh, hope you guys all have a great season, but I hope the Dallas Cowboys just crash and fucking burn. But yeah, that's the current events. Now we get to move on to the fun. Can we move on to the fun? Please. Jesus I'm about Christ. To fall asleep. I'm sure you were cuz you're such into football. Your uh. Broncos suck. But anyways, all right, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, guys, any of these segments uh, coming up, if you have any suggestions, you can tweet us in a message at LOT Sidelines. I am still checking Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines, but Twitter is kind of coming around the corner. So uh, check us out there at LOT Sidelines. And yeah, uh, so first one, 
Overrated or underrated? Splitting the check on a date. Fucking overrated. You make her pay every time. Every time. Right. Yeah. Every you never time. never split. And if she's good, you'll give her the D. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. This independent woman bullshit isn't adding up if you're making me pay, bitch. I'm sorry. What so, if you date dudes? I... Same different? thing with then the you're bi- supposed to go. To it's that it's the same. Yeah. I don't that's, know. I, that's why I say no. If you're gonna be a bad bitch, you gotta, you gotta let him be a bad bitch. Too. I say underrated. Okay, that's fine. Split the check. Be better than all of us. Yeah. You know, straight people. For Jesus. Sure. Uh, but no, I I say this is uh, this is overrated. Actually, uh, pay for her. Just don't be a douche. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated videos. <laughs> <laughs> videos of kids running into sliding glass doors. Are these kids getting hurt? Fuck yes. Well, oh, then it's way, way underrated. Way underrated yeah, then. underrated. Yeah. Oh, it's great. For sure. It's great. Yeah. There is not, and, and if you've got a compilation of all of them, just a, a whole com- compilation. Did you just say compilation? Is that yeah. how I pronounce it? Because I do have, it's compilation. Compilation? Yeah. But okay. compilation yeah. is that what I'm going to say from now on. It's a verb. You compile all of these. You compile. A, yeah. A, uh, a compilation <laughs> is what your wastebasket looked like in high school. Yeah, right. Just a bunch of printed photos. <laughs> compilation. A, a printed photos. Yeah, it looked like paper mache. <laughs> Compi- <laughs> Compilation is also the substance that Scotty used to stick the pictures to the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, and that's also how he gets his hair to stay like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, fine. A compilation of kids running into to like glass windows where there they think it's way too clean. Oh. That's some good shit. Yep. I'll laugh for hours. Love it. He's like, there was a compilation of shit stains in that guy's <laughs> car. <laughs> that guy's car. <laughs> It was bad news. Okay, fine. So we're all going underrated on that one, I'm assuming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Having happy birthday sung to you. Depends on the situation. Depends on who's singing and how many clothes they have on. <laughs> okay. The end. All right. That's fine. Uh, I, I I hate it. I think it's fucking stupid. I don't want to be sang to. I like I like it. if it's your birthday, I like it if you sit on my face and then I sing happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So I mean oh. I guess underrated. Uh that's great, man. Uh yeah, it's uh, like singing into a fucking cave. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it is. The echoes are awesome. Dude, I hate I hate it. And I hate it. I hate it that that they used to have uh restaurants back in the nineties. Uh, that would actually make it a huge deal in the entire restaurant and the 2000s yeah. and the 2010s yeah, and the 2020s. Still do, do they that, still the do it? Oh, you yeah. get on oh, the yeah. saddle at Texas Roadhouse. Oh, and yeah. You have a big yee haw. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Fuck. The whole stop, team stop comes over. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. You please. know who that's degrading more to? The servers. Yeah. Yeah, because they that have was to, the fucking worst. The worst. Ah, it's so. And I mean, you have to go back in the back and grab people and say, "Hey, I've got to yeah. go and sing." Uh-huh. And you got to find like five people to drop what the fuck they're doing. Right. What the worst part of it is is like especially whenever i was first started waiting tables at like 18 19 20 yeah we'd be fucking uh like we'd always check five was a common term in the restaurant industry you see a table that's got a hot chick at it you're like fucking check five table nine so then all the guys would walk by find a reason to go walk by table nine and be like oh god damn that bitch is fucking banging Mm -hmm. and then it's like hey i got a birthday i need birthday singers you're like all right cool what table? Nine. You're like, yeah. <laughs> so then you walk over there and they're like, hey, I got Courtney celebrating her. How old are you, Courtney? And then he, you see his face just go, fuck. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Courtney's 13th yeah. birthday. Oh, Let's give it. We're it. all like, uh, all of our oh, penises just no. ran back inside of us. Oh, no. And it's like, ah, uh, damn Seems it. right. They just matured so much faster. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we see these fucking pictures of all of these girls now who are like 14 years old. And you look at like what they look like when, why when, when we were kids and you're just like, oh, my God, this is awful. That's how we were fooled. We were duped. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. We exactly. It's the, mil- it's the milk. Is it the milk? Uh-huh. Oh, and okay. the hormones in the milk. <laughs> That's bad. It is the yeah. fucking like food hormones. Yeah. This is For so sure. bad. Like uh, I was, I was the first kid in my class with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He still has them yeah. today. Still does. Uh, I can answer for Derek a little bit though. I, I'm going to guess. Okay. I'm going to say it's overrated when it's actually your birthday. That's exactly what I was going to say. I knew it. I knew it. Go ahead. You can finish. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> God damn. It's like our extra chromosomes are syncing up. They're syncing up. <laughs> we're scissoring. I don't yeah. think that's a good thing, buddy. <laughs> I know. I know. Whatever. Together, we're the strongest force alive. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I have a fake birthday on Facebook and it's always fun because everybody will wish me happy birthday when it's not my birthday, <laughs> which is the greatest thing ever. Cause then they're like, Oh dude, come out to the bar. We're buying. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then like four months later, it's my actual birthday. They're like, didn't you just have a birthday? I'm like, no, look, here's my driver's license right here. <laughs> oh, well come out to the bar. I'll buy it. I'm like, yeah. So, he, he cheats the fucking system. It's fucking fantastic. It is, and it's actually a really good idea. I encourage all of you to do it. It well, fucks with people. Oh, it fucking totally does. When your own family members wish you happy birthday <laughs> and it's not your birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know the people that are closest to you. I actually know your actual birthday off by heart because of this whole situation, <laughs> by the way. And he's one of maybe four. Four or five people I actually know his actual birthday. I'm going to have to change yeah. it. Yeah, you, you should. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. I'm going down to the DMV tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Can you make this thing in June? <laughs> uh, anyway. And don't tell Scotty. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. Uh, all right, next. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I caught it. I caught it. It was part of the song. Uh, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated, putting a dick pic in the offering bucket at church. Well, it's expected at JP's church. JP is over here making a face like he's done this before. I have not. Okay. Thank but God. I would think if you're going to put it in the offering bucket at church. The priest is going to go through kid, the bucket? Kitty porn's illegal. So if they find out that you put it in there. Ah. Uh, because they don't want dick pics of my, mine. They want dick pics. I of, don't think so. Have I, you... I, I mean, I didn't say it was a Catholic church. Calm the fuck oh, okay. down. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just a church. Chill. Just H- a, a church. A church. Yeah. Oh, well, then, yeah, they appreciate that. Yeah. So so underrated? Underrated. Uh, I I definitely think this is underrated. You've I could never s- do it. You've got to sneak in it. But I it couldn't has to, do it. I, okay, there are two kinds of church bucket or plates. The picture's just too big. I'm sure I, it is. I, I yeah. get noticed. I'm sure it is. Uh, but, no, if you had, like, the Polaroid-style pictures, <sighs> right? Yeah, you got to get the Polaroid because then you'd have no idea. The you offering got, basket's coming. And Scotty's over here shaking, yeah, shaking it. Like, oh, come no, on, develop. No, I'm develop. at home printing it off and waiting oh, for it to it come there. out. Okay. I like to think you just throw your cell phone in there. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on there. Yeah. And throw it in. And then you get done with church, and then you're like, hey, excuse me, I need to get my phone back. I'd put that in the uh, offering it, thing. You can get away with it because, okay, certain churches have the actual plates that you pass around. You're not getting away with that. No. But the ones that pass around the buckets, and those are the six flags over Jesus only churches, the, the big ones. Right. The ones that pass around the baskets are the only ones I go to because I make change. Ex- I ex- put in $2, <laughs> and then I draw out 100 or I Shit. pull out 50 That's- that's bad, dog. Yeah. Not supposed yeah. to do you that. You can't do that with the plates. You're not That's, supposed to do that. If I go to church and then they fucking start passing that around the end of his offering and it's a plate, oh, I'm so disappointed. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I just walk out Yeah, then. you're not allowed to make change. You're totally not allowed to put a dick pic in there, but we're encouraging it at this point. Well, <laughs> so, you know. Hey, man. Yeah, it's what it, but it's definitely underrated. There. Did I mention I paid my car off last <laughs> yeah, you Friday? Did. You got an extra five bucks to put in the offering plate. Yeah. Uh, overrated because you're at church. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's the first problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of, of, of which, um, as soon as you left the draft, there were so many of those people. Hey, I got good news trying to hand me like Jesus, Jesus is back. <sighs> oh, my gosh. So I have decided now just 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 because of this this conversation, uh, my Sundays are now going to be filled uh, driving to different church parking lots and then randomly airdropping creation and pamphlets <laughs> to anybody who has their air air messages on. As being the only Christian sitting here on this show, don't be those guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, last but not least, overrated or under. What was that supposed to fucking mean? You think you're better than us? Well, no. your people are going he to thinks hell, he's JP. better. He thinks no. he's better than us, man. No, I'm saying. It's I'm Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, Steve, JP. No, all I'm saying, dog, is I'm saying don't be those people that run after other people. <laughs> it depends on how Eve identifies herself. <laughs> See a Bud Light can in the making, uh, but no, I, I what I was trying to say is don't be those people that run people down and hand out pamphlets. That, like you guys, were I used to kick them out of the off the lot at Quick Trip all the time. Oh, good for there. you! Yeah. Oh God, yeah, constantly no, kicking I'm those sh- I'm bitches sure. off just don't the lot. Be, don't be those guys. Just let them do their own thing. We'll be in the you know the holy. Uh, heaven and stuff like that and they won't i just tell them i would love to talk about it but i'm late to my abortion <laughs> oh just there's a long <laughs> list of stuff you can put out there absolutely uh okay last one 
Overrated or underrated? Weird climax noises during sex. Underrated. What, right. what is a weird climax noise? <laughs> yeah. What do you got? <laughs> What's your weird climax noise, JP? <laughs> well, anytime I'm about to climax, I queef a little. Oh, no. Meef, JP. Oh, I meef. I meef a little. Yeah. I meef just a little bit. Yeah. Yep. I, wouldn't, I wasn't yep. thinking about those noises. I was thinking the ones that you make with your mouth. Like, I like popcorn a little bit. <laughs> That's weird popcorn. That's more like bubbles. <laughs> yeah. That's like very slow boiling water. Oh, shit. Yeah, I get the point, JP. I get it. What, what is your weird one, Scott? I don't All I could think of was like if you're sitting there with your wife and you're making, and she starts making like animal noises when she's having <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. That's what I was thinking. Wow. Or, like you got that furry kind of people where they're just like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's like, like oh that. shit, no, oh, no. Oh. This is this is way overrated. Quit me. I would, but but would I love furries because hold, hold the fuck on. Yeah. This is this is when we get serious. Would you rather? This is not a shitty situation. This is a legitimate question. Would you rather have intercourse with somebody who makes absolutely no noise at all, or somebody who is loud as hell? I I've had experience with both and. The one that's loud is better. Way better. No noise because it's easier in public. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, God. hey -o. And I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, louder is better. Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. It's, it's no better. I've never had anyone make noise. It's weird. I don't know. I've don't competed. Know. <laughs> I've, actu I've actually competed. Uh, with. I made sure that she was making more noise than the person and Very girl well. next door. Yeah. Good deal. How about you, Derek? Uh, I only say one thing every time I climax. Yeah? Yep. Take my seed! <laughs> and, oh, my God. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. I can confirm. Mm -hmm. So is it over or under? Well, oh, uh, underrated. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure. For sure. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Well, that, right. well, that, was fun. That, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to what would you do? That's going to um, be somebody's ringtone. Take, take my seed! <laughs> yeah. And in fact, we can actually make it a ringtone if all of us say it together. Ready? One, no. two. Th oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. Okay, fine. All right, seriously, no. Um, I'm going to cheese and blowjobs my seed. <laughs> okay. Uh, next uh, segment is what would you do? Any situation that you guys want to put us into, you can actually send them to us at uh, LOT Sidelines on Twitter. First situation is... You are in a long line and oh, have been well, waiting for over. We know what Derek would do. <laughs> Let me finish it before we get there. Because <laughs> this, he had no idea this was in there. Okay. Yeah, well, we know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. Hold on a second. You are in a long line and have been waiting for over 30 minutes, and a person in front of you invites two more people to wait with them. What would you do? I get it, fam. <laughs> I get it, fam. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I'm not doing shit. It's two fucking people. What's yeah. it? What's it? That's 10 seconds out of my day. Big fucking deal. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? I don't think I would wait in a line that long. I can't, I can't possibly imagine what I would wait in line that long for. What if you were going to meet Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World? <laughs> okay. Well, no, you had me at Mr. Feeney. Yeah. yeah. Um, you always no, get him with Feeney. You can. I just can't imagine standing in a line that would be that long. All right. The best mime in Wichita, Kansas is selling tickets. To see Mr. Feeney. To, to, <laughs> to see Mr. Feeney. I'm pretty sure Mr. Feeney's dead. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's alive. He's still alive. He's still alive? Yeah. He is still alive, oh, is still alive and kicking. Why haven't they brought that show back? They're doing a podcast tour with all of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's coming to Kansas City. Yay. Uh, what would I do? I I would cuss and, and, and scream in my head but not say a word, but the person who I'm standing next to is, is getting an earful of, these motherfuckers, and I'm just cussing yeah. that. But I'm not doing anything to the people that are in no, front of me. No, because you don't have your step stool. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Yeah. They're all going to be bigger than me. Right. Uh, I, th I think the worst line experience I had, not involving cocaine, was... Oh, yeah. uh, I, I've never done cocaine. I'm fat. Uh -huh. um, but... <laughs> I was. Uh, I, I suck my cocaine up with my butt. I was in Kansas City, and it was me and my best friend that I went to the draft with. Uh, this was probably 
It was right after, the, I think, the Royals won the World Series. I think it was in 16. Mm-hmm. Somewhere around there. And the Cubs were playing in uh, Kansas City, so we went to all three games. And the line to get in, because we waited and were tailgating in the parking lot, mm-hmm. so there was like a long line to get in, and they were singing the national anthem. And so I would just stand in there outside of the stadium with probably 130 people in front of me in line. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying anything. I'm just standing there. And this fucking bitch behind me, I've got my hat on. And this chick just will not shut the fuck up. And she's like, I hate it when people wear their hat in the anthem. It's so disrespectful. I'm like, I'm not even in the fucking stadium. I can't even see the flag. <laughs> she's like, I hate it. I just think it's so disrespectful. And then after it was over, I looked at my buddy. I was like, I hate it when dumb bitches talk in the <laughs> anthem. I just think it's so disrespectful. Nice. Way to go back. Good for you. All right. Stupid women. Stupid. Okay. And that's why you... Always make her pay on the first day. Damn right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, next one. Uh, you are at a friend's dinner party, and the meal they cooked looks disgusting. What would you do? Not eat it. I'd try it. You would not really not eat it? They put it down in front of you. This is a dinner party, so like you don't know it's coming out until they put it in front of you at the table. But, okay, are they a clean person? Because It's, it's Derek's wife. Oh, I'd try it. Okay. Even yeah. if it looked gross, it's probably good. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's There's a good a point. reason I'm fat. Okay, who's a yeah. shitty cook? It's not my wife. My wife's a great cook. So we got to think of somebody. Like my, a- my old roommates, they used to throw dinner parties a lot. Okay, were they shitty cooks? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay. They listen to this. <laughs> yeah. So, but here's the thing. They both grew up like stupid money. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Like... Is states. So you're getting name brand food. They don't fucking clean. We had a maid come once a week. Oh, God. So they would literally cook all week and shit would just be everywhere. Oh. Just dirty dishes. Dirt, and, and then the maid would come and everything be really clean for two days and then it would be fucking filthy again. Oh, but man. they just don't clean. I mean, they. But would you try they their don't food? have to do that. No, because I know that's been prepared in a fucking kitchen that's had fucking nasty uh, shit sitting in it for yeah, a fucking week. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? And no, because I know they're shitty cooks. It's I, not good. It's not good. I guess the the, the whole Depends premise of the, the, the whole premise of the question is do you is if you try it, you take that first bite and you really don't like it. Do I you, would just say so. You would just say so. You're That's not. A, not my thing. I'm not. You a don't fan. want to embarrass your friends. I'm not trying wife. to embarrass anybody, but I'm not going to fucking sit there and choke it down either because I'm a fucking grown ass adult. Uh, I I am. Gonna, I'm not that nice. I'm that nice. I would. I would try. Yeah, fuck all that. I would try as hard as I could. Nah. And I've done it before. I don't care if I hurt your feelings. I, I know you don't. Yeah, I do. I I, I, I want to be as genuinely nice as I possibly. Oh, can. I'm a nice person. I no, just, you're a I'm fucking not, asshole if you I'm do not this. Gonna sacri- I'm not going to sacrifice my own fucking <clears throat> well being because. You should. Your food tastes like shit. No, you should. No, nah, yeah, I don't that's think just so. How about you, Derek? How are they going to get better if you don't tell them? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll eat a little bit and be like, oh, God. I, I shouldn't have ate before I came over yeah. here. I am, yeah. I am <laughs> he just lies. He makes an excuse. Okay. Absolutely. I'll be there like, my go. wife needs to go. I'm that, <laughs> uh, I'm that guy. I'll, yeah. I'll make her the bad guy. She fucking hates it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God, my wife fed Katie's me right before go. we come yeah. over here. That's yeah. cool. Good call. Uh, Katie wants to stay home tonight, so we're not, we can't do anything. You do that to me all the fucking time. Right yeah. on. Right <laughs> on. I invited him to go somewhere like once. In the last year, and he fucking stood me up. Oh, uh, what a dude! So I had a work cool. thing, Jack. Yeah, anyway, he had a work thing. Work thing, or no? Katie didn't want him to go. No, out. I had a work thing. It was I legit work, work me. I'm sure oh, it was yeah. legit. Anyways, next one. You accidentally catch two fellow employees fornicating at work. What would you do? I accidentally join in. I mean, <laughs> right? Depends Whoops, on, my dick fell in. <laughs> depends on the employees, but I would either a record it or b join in. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Or I would, I would stand, ne- I like hide out, actually, and, and yell, "Take my seat!" <laughs> yeah, right. Smart. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I everybody I work with, hard pass. So if I found them, I would probably close my eyes as fast as I possibly could and just leave them to be do whatever they're gonna do. I guess I'm a little bit more cynical than both of you in this. I'm I'm whipping out my phone and getting pictures blackmailing the shit out of them forever until they no longer work there. Where are they at? Where is this happening at? Oh, in, the, in like a coat closet or some shit. I'd be sitting there right on the outside. <laughs> I'd be going, oh, yeah, stick your finger in my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Two fingers, two fingers. <laughs> oh. Right in my dirt star. Up Come on. Up to the knuckle. Up to the knuckle. <laughs> yeah. 
That's oh, funny. now punch me in the face and call my mom a bitch. <laughs> Put a cigarette out at my pee hole. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I don't smoke start. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. That took a turn. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, next one. <laughs> Fuck. Next one. Thanks for being you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you'll never change. Uh, next one. Your best friends ask you to jump on the bed to help them with soaking. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> jump away. <laughs> Jump away. How good of friends are we, oh, we're, dude? We're good friends. Yeah. Uh, you need some help on your man. I think this is his way of asking us to do that. Right. I think it is, too. No. I think it is, too. No, no, no. I am definitely not doing that. Uh, but I think if you guys are really close friends, I really would hope you would do that for me. Oh, I would do it for you. Yeah. Uh, Derek would not have to jump very high. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, he Two might jumps just, later, you're fucking off. soaked. I'm not doing period. Uh, that's exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. Fuck off. Like I a, don't exercise for anyone. That's a fucking cannonball of Derek's jumping on the bed. You'd have to tie a candy bar to a string. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that time the big show got slammed in the middle of the ring and the ring broke. <laughs> the ring yeah. just flat. Or yeah, pancake. all the ropes just boom. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm no, I'm never doing this. I love everybody that I consider a friend, but I'm so sorry. I'm not doing that for you. Uh, did I get everybody's answer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. More about the offering bucket at church. <laughs> what? Uh, this is what? Is this a thing? Give me a second. I think Scotty. Secretly no, is no, into this shit. no. Next. Last one. You are going through the offering bucket at church and you find a dick pic. What would you do? <laughs> I would. Depends on what the if it was a come on if I liked the pick I would look around and try to figure out whose it was <laughs> yeah and then I would take all the money that's in the offering steal it and then try to pay them to blow them later okay all so right say, oh, that's fine let me see it in real life you know what I mean or but what if it had herpes or something all over it that would be maybe it was a sign that like yeah. for you to find it and help them get help right you know exactly that's what to do in that situation exactly what right? to do all the good creams and salves yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think <clears throat> I, I'm being honest here. I, I would immediately go, Oh, and throw it in the trash. I wouldn't let anybody else see it because I'm a good Samaritan and a religious person. You're so. the same guy that said you would put one in there earlier. Totally. So you're a liar. <laughs> you're all fucking Christ- Christians. All Christians are hypocritical. Fucking motherfucker. Hypocritical <laughs> bastards. Oh yeah. Got it. All right. All how right. about you, Derek? Uh, stand up in the middle of the aisle, hold it in the air, and go, look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! <laughs> I would just tape it to the front of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. All right. Well, that was What Would You Do for This Week? Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the questions and preguntas. Uh, we've got five good questions here for you, and we are going to start it off with this one. First question, which superhero would be the worst at sex? Wonder Woman. Really? That's the she, one I'd go for. Yeah, no kidding. Dude, that a cat woman. Because she's a woman. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I wouldn't care for it. Uh, I still bet she'd be a good time. I don't think so. I think so. I, th- I See, me, personally, I picked Aquaman. Oh. Because any of you, you would drowned, <laughs> you drowned. A yeah, I like and that. if you've ever tried to fuck in like a shower or something, there's yeah. no lubrication in there. Hmm. So I'm gonna say that's that would weird. be that be the worst. Hmm. Uh, that's mine. But yeah, you definitely drowned. How about you, Derek? Ant Man. Ooh, w- what are you gonna do? Like Miss Frizzle and Magic School Bus your ass around the pussy? Miss like, like, Frizzle your ass on down there. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> you're not pleasing nobody. No, you're not. Okay, next question. A true boys' night out will always include blank. Lube. Fucking shit, JP. God. Hey, man, if you don't like my answers. No, it's just. I, I, whenever, it's different. It's We're that, different people. You, your, your answers are giving me mental pictures that make me gag a little bit. That make him curious. A <laughs> Look, man, marijuana is not the only thing I carry around in my backpack. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> just so you know. I'm uh, all, I stay ready. I'm sure. Uh, a true boy's night out always includes anal sex. <laughs> Is that better? No. Oh, okay. still not. All right. Uh, regret. Okay. I, I think that's legitimate because from you all lube. have a g- from the lube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think that's legitimate. I think every single guy's night out, regardless if it's gay sex or anything not related, there's always regret because you kind of have something to say. I'm sorry for the next day. Okay. So how about you, Derek? 
uh, lying to Scotty about where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Come on, Scotty. We're all out at Copters. Come hang out. <laughs> Copters. Uh, I, I mean, I've heard that's a great club here in town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, next question. What two animals would you like to switch the sounds they make? Elephants and butterflies. That'd be kind of trippy, wouldn't it? Elephants would no longer make noises, and so there would be like deaths all over the Sahara because nobody would hear them coming. And then the other thing is, is they would this, be silent like a Prius. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they would hit everybody. Yeah. And then butterflies would be the loudest fucking things that are on land, just scaring the shit out of everybody, just going, oh, where the fuck is it? Like, I think that'd be all right. How about you, JP? Bears and bees. Same thing. Same deal. Same deal. Yeah. Yep. And that would be kind of cool, too, because the bees could scare away the bears from getting honey. Or cats and goats. because <laughs> uh, A cat bang would yeah, be kind of funny. Kind of dope. And there's a lot of them. So oh, yeah. yeah. That would be all That'd right. Be cool. I'll, I'll take that. How about you, Derek? Uh, crickets and those screaming goats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine you're getting ready to go to you're getting ready to go to sleep, <laughs> and, that's and then all like of a sudden it's like the lights are it's nighttime. That would be so bad. <laughs> it's nighttime, and you just you're in the tent, or the windows are open, and then you just hear. Oh. <laughs> 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 That would be dope. <laughs> <laughs> that was, ah! uh, yeah. That's what they sound like. They Especially do. if you're outdoors because there's like thousands of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like 30 women are being raped right at the same time. Or the worst ever is like when you're in your basement and you're watching TV and then you just hear. <laughs> you can't like, find Son it. Son of a bitch. God damn it, where there's is a, it? There's a cricket in my house. <laughs> yeah. I haven't oh. slept in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine Jimmy Cricket trying a Disney movie just yeah, all right. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Pinocchio, you're a real boy. <laughs> you were talking about uh oh, shit. <laughs> the elephants. <laughs> Uh, and it reminded me, I had a, an Uber driver this weekend, and he was the fucking great. Was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> uh, I, the guy was from somewhere in Africa. Okay, and he had that thick accent, and it was hard to understand what he was saying sometimes. But it was fantastic because I could still understand everything he was saying. Sure. And uh, he was a big NFL fan and liked football. And from Kansas City, of course, he's a Chiefs fan naturally. And uh, he was talking about Pat. I said, "You know what? You may have Patrick Mahomes." But you also have Jackson and Brittany. <laughs> and he goes, I fucking hate Jack. He's a deke. He's a deke. He's a fucking deke. <laughs> just go, dude, it was the, I'm in the back seat, fucking about to piss my pants. I'm laughing so hard. That is the best fucking Uber driver I've ever had. Five stars right oh, there. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. If there was a sixth one, buddy, you'd get it. Yes. Okay. Jesus. All right. Next question. What? (laughs) (laughs) I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I was just waiting for it. It Thank you for not disappointing me. Scared me a little bit. I was gonna do it, but then I was like, "Nah, Derek's got this." (laughs) Fucking crickets everywhere in this goddamn studio. Oh yeah. (laughs) Oh god. All right. Next. Like a a joke doesn't hit, and then you don't hear like. You hear? <laughs> you can't even scream like that. This is the sound that goats make now. Apparently, yeah, yeah. The so, screaming goats. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay, next question: mm-hmm. What quote would you want engraved on your tombstone? <clears throat> Hot necrophiliacs only. <laughs> okay, I like it. Um, I died doing what I loved, annoying Derek. I just didn't know he was going to stab me. That was mine. It was a murder suicide. It was it <laughs> okay? How about you, JP? We're opposite order, though. I killed myself and then I stabbed you. <laughs> okay. What would you want engraved on your tombstone? Yeah, hmm, I don't know. You don't know? I mean, dead guys lived. welcome. He lived. He died. He sucked a lot of dick. He okay. smoked a lot of weed. And bold. And bold. There you go. That's it. That's, that's all a, I do. That's a good one. I will go out with that. Okay. Last but certainly not least. Oh boy, Derek's favorite topic. Here we go. 
What is a good name for an a cappella singing group of midgets? The Screaming Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a bunch, so it's up to you if you want to go. I, 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 let's go with uh, the Tiny Tunes. Tiny Tunes? Yeah. I, I like, like it. Holy shit, I've got a bunch. Okay. okay. I'm going to do, uh, let's see. Uh, tone dwarf for what? I just like tone dwarf. Yeah, tone dwarf. Yeah, yeah. Tone dwarf. Yeah. Sound bites. Okay. Okay. Uh, Snow White's seven pitches. No. Okay. And last but not least, definitely my favorite is on a short note. <laughs> Got it. All right. All right. Fine. Fuck you guys. Good job, I, Scotty. I thought they were great. No, they were great. Fine. I mean it. Anyways, really, all right. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. If you guys have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. Uh, that's where I'm probably spending most of my time, so send them to us there. Also, we still do have our P.O. box open probably for the next three or four months, so if you guys do want to send us anything, go to our link in our bio and send it to us at our P.O. box, and we'll open something on this show and give you a shout-out. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I came in second last week against Mike and Jeremy. Jeremy always wins those, by the way. Whenever Jeremy's I on the- I never win. I, because your answers suck. Oh. Um, but okay. uh, but I took second place, and since uh, I'm the lone person from last week's episode, I get the championship picks. Hey, win by technicality. All right. I'll take it every week, folks. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, and since uh, Derek is a uh, a veteran on this show, he gets the sandwich picks because he loves being in the middle, and JP loves uh, taking the front. So uh, yeah, uh, JP gets the first pick of this week's draft, and this week's draft is the most ridiculous things you would buy if money was not an object. So. We're going to kick this off with JP. What's the most ridiculous thing you would buy if money was not an object? Justin Bieber. I don't think you can buy people. Oh, I think you can. <laughs> I think was, you can. That was actually outlawed. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't uh, think you can oh, buy Justin. Oh, I think you can. Uh, with no people. We got to make that a... Because uh, I'm buying Michael Jordan, if that's Okay, the case. well, then congratulations no. on buying Michael Jordan. Uh, I'm no. fucking buying Justin Bieber. Are we allowing Justin you can, Bieber? You can buy his clothes. Yeah, you can uh, buy his clothes. Deal. That's right. it? Justin Bieber's underwear. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's kind of ridiculous. The Biebs underwear. Okay. Uh, Derek, what is your first pick? A giraffe. A gi- nice. Why the fuck yeah. would you want a giraffe? Because nobody They're majestic. Else has one. They're they majestic. are majestic. Really? That's what you'd want as a giraffe? I love giraffes. I love giraffes too, but I don't They're know. The best. I wouldn't want to buy one. Oh, absolutely. I could afford to feed it. You could. Mm-hmm. You got to house that motherfucker too. That's fun. Dude, I'm, Money's I'm, no object. I'm a gajillionaire. That's yeah. true. That is true. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my first pick a tank. Fuck all of you guys. I'm mm-hmm. doing fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just twirl around the all town with that thing fully fucking loaded and I'll be just fine. Uh, and if I don't have a tank, I've always said this would be the first thing I would buy if I was ever a multimillionaire, and that is a ridiculous yacht with a helicopter pad on it. Okay. Yep, I'm going to go with a fucking huge yacht. Y'all would never see me again, so make me a millionaire. Uh-huh. You never have to. That'd be sweet. Yep. Uh, Derek, you get your second pick. Well, the next most ridiculous thing I would buy if, uh-huh. I, if I had that kind of money, uh, a swimming pool filled with mac and cheese. A swimming pool filled with mac and cheese. Mac and Sounds cheese pretty is delicious. Fucking good. Dude, you got to come try and... You gotta come try a new mac and cheese. Bro. All right, oh I'm in. God. I'm in. Oh my god, dude! Can you put it in a pool? Absolutely, <laughs> excellent. Fucking I'm a, right, in. we can. <laughs> this is why people who win the lottery you, you fucking for, you forgot suck. to put. I put. Of mac I, and cheese. I. I. I know. Okay. <sighs> All right, JP, you get two in a row, dude. All right, the first one I would buy uh, bowling alley lanes for my basement. I, I was wondering okay. when you were gonna I would put do bowling that. lanes yeah. in my basement for sure. Okay. Um, and the other one is a bunch of pointless sports memorabilia of the Chicago Cubs and <laughs> Chicago Bears. Okay. 
Nice. But he's selling all of his bear shit. You know, if you're fu- if you fuck in a swimming pool of, of mac and cheese, nobody <laughs> will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> unless it you has, can't, you, um, can't, you can't hear it. <laughs> unless you have screaming <laughs> crickets unless at the bottom of it. Cr- yeah, unless there's a cricket in there. <laughs> you'll, you'll just hear the same thing and then <laughs> take my seed. <laughs> <at> the <end. laughs> That's the end. That's how you know it's over. That's how you know it's over. That is how you know it's over. Yeah. Very good. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Derek, your next pick. Uh, one of the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Nice. Like the animatronic ones? Yeah, absolutely. No, the real uh, ones. You can't, yeah, yeah right? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. They the exist, ones. dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have For an sure island and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. God, dinosaurs. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? Dude, I'm going to have the coolest fucking house. You have no idea. Uh, so far, I love it. <laughs> you guys' dancers are ridiculous. You should take and that's mushrooms fine. and come over. That's that's for sure. <laughs> for sure. Nothing goes better than mac and cheese than mushrooms. That will be the most tripped out bullshit <laughs> ever. Dude, I saw a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Dude, I'm a pothead. Do you know how fucking happy I would be if I saw a swimming pool full of mac and cheese, bro? I may never leave. Oh, <laughs> You'd be like Scrooge I McDuck. Like, yeah, buddy. fucking A, I would. I'd have one of those little striped swimming suits. Oh, good God. Uh, okay. Uh, I am going to go, of course, with the picks that everybody thinks I'm going to pick. And the first one is a mountain so I can snowboard whenever the fuck uh, I want. Cool. Very what cool. What do you think the next one's going to be? Bindings. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bitches, because nobody's going to love yeah, him. Yeah, right. I'm going to buy my own Michael Jordan golf course. And that is, did you hear about Michael Jordan's golf course? He had it designed specific to his actual oh, right, swing. Right. And so anybody yeah, that right. goes and plays him is at a severe disadvantage because the course is totally catered to his swing. So he wins every time. Yep. Golf and skiing and yeah. snowboarding and all the rich people. I'm stuff. getting cool. I mean, I'm Good I'm, you, I'm working up to that millionaires, dude. Yeah, that's you what are. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, you are. Okay, Derek, what's your next pick? Forty foot velvet painting of me as a centaur. <laughs> Forty foot. <laughs> 40 all right. Footer, the big boy. Uh huh. All right. And it's velvet. I love that it's velvet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is that velvet? What is that velvet? Uh, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, all right, JP, you get your last two. All right, I would buy a hockey team. Oh, that's kind of a good idea. For sure, I'd buy the Avs. Okay, that's yep. that's fine. No doubt about it. They're always yeah, they're good. And uh, hmm, I would just buy. Get yourself a porno shop, dog. Uh, no man, I would buy just the most lube that you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> lifetime like supply 55 of lube. 55 gallon barrels. Just a like, lifetime supply. Yep, lifetime supply of okay, lube. That, that's fine. Because that well, shit gets fucking expensive. Expensive. It does, especially the premium kinds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you got to get the, the lifetime supply of that Amen. shit. Good grief. <clears throat> All right, uh, Derek, your last pick. Well, you know, there's probably going to be some zoning issues with my pool of mac and cheese. And, <laughs> there is definitely. And, and these animals the probably are not going to be technically legal to own. So mm. I'm going to have to buy a politician so I can. Uh, <laughs> oh, hold my. on, man. Wait, you said we couldn't buy people because my I, last I would, answer I was a midget, I but I couldn't do it. I wouldn't own a pol- I wouldn't actually own it. I would just put can enough I say, money. Then can this. I say midget? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yeah, that's less than a person. So that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I take I take back. <laughs> this is so yeah, terrible. I take back the last thing I said. What I say? Lube. Yeah, forget the lube. Okay. I want to buy a midget. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a politician so I can keep all this on the up and up. So that's how I always thought I'd know if I ever really made it. Is if you own a, li- own a midget, own a little person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jesus Christ! I've wanted one for years. I'd put that little fucker in white face and tell him to make me laugh. Oh uh, Lord. Who was it that okay. said that they should have seeing eye midgets? For, blind for sure they should. Like, go left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I I was just uh, told. A seeing uh, eye midget. Uh, a giant yacht is called a giga, giga yacht. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Good. Um, let's see. This one's going to be kind of tough. Because there's a shitload of stuff that a whole bunch of people would really want to buy. Like a I, rocket. Like to go to outer space? Don't want to do that. Absolutely yeah, terrifying. Asteroids coming no to hit Earth? Yeah, Guess no. what? I'm dying. See ya. Yeah. I was going to say an island, but Epstein kind of ruined that. Kind of ruined that. Ruined ruined that. Yeah. yeah, don't do the whole <laughs> island Son of thing. a bitch. Oh, man. And that island's really I'm just sad that it got <laughs> shut down before I got famous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. 
Uh, definitely don't want tickets to outer space. Fuck that shit. But I do want like something absolutely ridiculous of the, of some kind of sports memorabilia. That is pretty much. But what I said, I, I know, but like you can't, you can't really buy anything that's like priceless. Can you, I mean, Derek is the, is the superior person when it comes to sports memorabilia. Like, do you know what the most expensive item of sports memorabilia ever is? If I, at least I can remember Ted Williams head, Ted Williams head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the rumor forever that they, that freeze, they, froze, they froze Ted froze Williams head. head. Oh, that was a rumor. They, for a they didn't do that. I, I'm sure they didn't. Uh, no, I heard it was uh, tiger Woods's putter was actually like the most expensive piece Seems like of sports something you would buy. I would, but I would never. Like he'd use it too. I would no, not. I would never. I would miss never. a putt and like break yeah, it over break his, it his knee. No, yeah. no. I, uh, I would never do that. You would never buy Tiger Woods putter, but no. you would have the guy that fit his putter fit you for a driver <laughs> because sure you're would. fucking that cool. Done did that shit. Um... God damn it. I really don't fucking You're going through this. Pick it's, something, it's your man. your shit, man. Yeah, I thought I, we were ready. I know, but I'm sitting here. I'm going like, what the fuck do I want to buy? An I, infinite so, supply of championship belts for every occasion? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would actually buy um, the Fun Factory. Okay, cool. I, I would want to buy, right like, on. remember when Do- Rob Deerdeck yeah, had his sure. own, like, building oh, full of fun, fun Factory? Fun Factory, fun factory dude. Yeah, I Where would buy been, my man? own what Fun Factory. What rock you been living under? It's like a big, huge, like, uh, you know, uh, play place for adults. TV rock or mm. that, that yeah. one. Yeah. So that is <laughs> what a weird fucking list this is. Jesus I love Christ. It. Mine's actually practical. Your guys are fucking weird. What the fuck ever. Uh, I've got the coolest house in the block. Yeah. You sure do. Uh, I'm jealous of his pool of mac and cheese, to be I, honest I, with I, you. I guess. I think that's going to win it for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I have any chance at all, it's because of my last pick. Yeah. Swimming, swimming, yeah. swimming pool full of jello? No. Uh, okay, so this is our draft of uh, what we would buy if money was not an object. Uh, you can go to... Please um, just vote for me. <laughs> you can go to... I don't care if it's a pity vote. <laughs> you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. I just want to win. And vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji on Facebook, but on Twitter at L-O-T sidelines. You can also vote uh, for your favorite list of the most ridiculous things we would buy if money was not an object. And uh, whoever wins gets absolutely nothing except a pat on the back next week off camera so you can't see we did it. Uh, but now we get to move on to my actual favorite part of every single episode. Keep this, laughing, assholes. No, sir. Yeah, this yeah. is our Fuck little, off. This See is ya. our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. City shitty situation. This is our shitty situation of the week, brought to you by Finger Bang Beer. Cut. Nope. <laughs> and um, and poop. Yeah, and poop. <laughs> that's actually a good story. Uh, Derek was over here recording for uh, his job, and uh, he fucked up and instead said poop. So yeah, you know, poop and screaming fucking uh, crickets. Very well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> was that a weird terrible. sex noise or was that a screaming cricket? I don't both. know. <laughs> both. Yeah. That, that is my new Either weird way, sex noise. I don't noise. care for it. That is my new weird uh, sex noise. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather live in a house infested by screaming crickets? <laughs> 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 or get happy birthday sung to you every time you go into a public place. Practically mm. everywhere you go. Dude, Ugh. I I have to go with the screaming crickets. What? <laughs> because fuck, man, how awesome would that be? <laughs> That'd be awesome for about ten seconds. No, nah, it'd be great, dude. <laughs> oh no. I just know. get some fucking there would be There'd some be some pretend some no. of those, like like the airplane people that direct the airplanes the earmuffs they wear uh, just get some of those. try sleeping in those motherfuckers yeah uh, i'll have to i am going I, i'm going everywhere and getting free no, drinks no, uh even, even though i'm drinking non-alcoholic beer um i am going everywhere and getting sung to i, I could never live in a house first of all infested with bugs yeah, don't like that I shit at yeah. all 
But on top of that, just, I mean, it, it, even if you live by yourself, everybody in the neighborhood hearing it being right. infested, it's like somebody, I swear, is dying in that fucking <laughs> yeah. house. You, the cops so would always be over there. They would always be yeah. over there. And it, it's like, I got nothing. Yeah. I mean, and they, and you know what happens when crickets, like, and you get close to the cricket when you're trying to look for it, they stop. They stop. So yeah. the, nobody's going to fucking believe you. And then as soon as you start walking back off. <laughs> Every fucking time. So yeah, happy birthday to Scotty everywhere right. I go. All right, Derek. Yeah, I'm doing the birthday for the same reason. Free shit. Yeah, uh, not even just drinks. So you get dessert too. That's know. true. <laughs> uh, you know they give out desserts. <laughs> yeah, they do give out desserts. Putting on some more LBs, I guess, in that particular situation. And you get a free rental at Blockbuster. Oh, so, yeah. oh, so that's good. Speaking of which, man, did you that see? That should have been on my list, dude. A uh, Blockbuster, Blockbuster video. video. I saw. And uh, w- weirdly enough, in Wichita Food and Booze, but they did a thing. Somebody put a free movie deal. Like, you know, the library, the little libraries yeah. where you leave a book. Table oh, book. yeah, 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 yeah. They did it for a movies and they're calling it the blockbuster or whatever. I would so put you, a porno in there immediately. <laughs> bro, they're all VHS tapes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's so great. Who the fuck has a VCR? Me, motherfucker. Do you? Hell yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Yeah, he's got to watch his porno That's somehow. True. Good point. Good call. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Touche. Good Put job. Put those motherfuckers that, on a DVD already. No. That, that printer ran out of ink. No, but <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah. People still have VCRs. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. Derek? Uh, dude, it's Derek, like. you it, got a VCR? No, I, I got rid of it when I moved. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, honestly. I got rid of it when 1987 happened. That was when like, I was born, dog. Okay. Uh, but anyways, no, seriously, you haven't tried to like go back in. Yeah, no shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm young. Uh, but going back and like watching a VHS, just having to rewind. Yeah. Well, the quality was never better. Right. Yeah, it was a, great way quality. It's, it's yeah. the vinyl of movies. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> it was way. I mean, it was way yeah. ahead of its time. Better than laser disc. All right. Fuck, well, yeah. I guess it's not that big a deal that it's all VHS then. It is all VHS. There's, absolutely. There's nothing better than that high pitch <clears throat> squeak when it plays. Oh yeah. Nothing. <laughs> nothing says poor people <laughs> like, like a library full of VHS tapes. No, nothing says poor people like a actual VHS player with two slots. One so you can record earlier. You can pirate record that shit. They actually, some of those movies had a thing built into where the screen would get dark and then bright and then dark and then bright. Oh, really? If you did that? It would have lines go through it. Oh, I never had a Some of them actually had like music that would play. Yeah. Oh, no and shit. And ruin the yeah. audio. Uh-huh. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, JVC was ahead of the game. I <laughs> guess <were>. so. <laughs> yeah, I guess were. so. Oh, okay. man. Uh, but anyways, guys, that audio is... Audio Vox. Yeah. That is all I have for this week's F episode. Um, does anybody have any shows? Come, JP, no, you're bowling. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a fucking second. I'm going to call you. I'm putting you on the spot right now. You got challenged on a TikTok, I believe. Somebody called you out to go and bowl against you. Well, I'm in. You're I said in? set it up. Set no, I want you to set it up. You're not, the boss. Dude. I'm not the bull. I'm Fight I'm a that. guest on this show. He's a pothead. He's and not motivated to do dude, shit. Here's the thing. I'm a guest on the show. You're the one that's gonna benefit like we could record it. It could be cool. We could show it. Okay. Whatever. You'd be but, down for that? Yeah. But okay. you gotta set it up, man. I just with my schedule, dog. I understand, man. I gotta, but my I, schedule. I, I, I got, you know I, what I mean. I got, You're not more important than I am. I got golf on the weekends, right? Man, exactly, dude. It. Just set it up, bro. I'll do oh, it. Oh you God. set it up, I'll do it. Okay. All right. And uh, Derek, Derek, you got a foot race with a dude after the show. Oh, you're gonna get smoked. I'm fucking gonna kill this dude. But do you have any shows coming up anyway? Anytime no. soon? No, mm-hmm. I didn't think so. Uh, you can go check him out. At, <laughs> I didn't uh, think so. You're are we talking getting, comedy <laughs> shows? Because <laughs> nobody books you. You fucking yeah. fat. Yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for doing what you do and uh, letting You're people welcome. know about. Yeah, you too, JP. And uh, no, seriously, actually, thank you, JP, for no, coming on. I really man. appreciate you know, it. You know, yeah. that's my favorite thing. I know it is. Uh, but thank you guys very much for helping the show grow. We continue to get bigger and bigger. We are almost a 400K on TikTok before they take us down. And uh, that may be coming up soon. Uh, but keep doing what you're doing. Uh, let people know about the podcast and continue to share 
our tweets and our TikToks. That just helps us grow, and we sincerely do appreciate every single one of you motherfuckers. And by the way, keep doing what we always say to do, and that is if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you walk in on your wife at a glory hole with a bunch of mimes. Whoa! Trick is... There's no wall. <laughs> <laughs> Trick is. <laughs> if you don't like no us. Wall. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care.